Greetings and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to go over a few ways to calculate the value of your Social Security benefits. First, I wanted to mention a few things we hear about Social Security. First, Social Security won't be there when I need it. While possible, I think this is unlikely. Uh, the odds are that the benefit age will probably increase. Um, they may lower the amount of the benefit. They may do both, but I doubt it's going to go away because what politician is going to run on a platform of, I'm going to get rid of Social Security. So I don't foresee that happening. Second, Social Security isn't enough. And this is probably true for most people, but I'm trying to help you look at it from a different angle. Um, obviously, the value, it's not meant to be an amount that's going to you know, it's, it's for survival, basically. It's not to provide you with the lifestyle you had while you were working or the lifestyle you got used to with a, you know, either a high paying job. It's, it's meant for people that had a lower income through their life. And finally, this one's something that's not seen a lot, but public opinion is actually generally positive. This doesn't make the headlines, so we're more likely to see the negatives. I think this is because most of us know someone who relies on Social Security who would be having a much harder time without it. I decided to calculate the value of Social Security via a few different methods. Um, and then I'm also, at the end of the video, going to go over what the value of a 9% COLA increase would be if that's what we end up getting this year. So it's looking like we're going to be around 9%. Uh, this year. So stay tuned for that. The first calculation uses a 3% risk-free rate of return, which should provide income in perpetuity. So no matter how long you collect. This is the amount of money you would need to save in order to safely produce the amount of income you would receive from Social Security. The downsides to this calculation offset each other since it doesn't account for inflation, but we are not drawing down the principal. The second calculation is based on the Trinity Studies 4% rule. A sufficiently invested stock bond portfolio has a high chance of providing inflation adjusted payments for 30 years without depletion, meaning you can increase your withdrawals each year by the amount of inflation and you, should, you shouldn't ever run out of money if you were, well, at least over 30 years. Finally, I use the annuity present value formula, assuming 3%. This can be adjusted depending on how many years we expect to receive benefits. This also assumes we would draw the account down to $0, but it does not just for inflation. This is the lowest value for those reasons. Here are a few examples with 20 year calculations. Remember the 20 years only applies to the annuity formula. So you'll notice if your monthly benefit is $1,000, then your annual benefit is 12,000. And again, this 20 years only applies to the annuity present value formula. But looking at your risk-free, we're looking at $400,000 in order to provide an income of $12,000 per year for perpetuity. So this is basically assuming that you would withdraw 3% of this each year and it should stay at $400,000. So you're not drawing it down to zero, but again, like I said before, you're also not adjusting for inflation. Using the 4% rule, you would need $300,000 to produce this $12,000 in income and you could increase for inflation with a low likelihood of depleting the account by the time 30 years had passed. And then the annuity present value formula, this would be the amount that you would need to withdraw 3% from each year. Actually, that is not right. It's not 3%. It's to withdraw $12,000 from each year. And you can't adjust it for inflation, but you withdraw 12,000 each year for 20 years and then it would be zero. If you didn't earn any interest at all, you would need $240,000. If there was zero interest, 
because 20 times 12 is 240,000. So your 20 times $12,000 would be 240,000, but because you're earning 3% interest in this case, which we consider the risk-free rate, you would need $178,529. And then you would, with, you would draw it down to zero at the end of 20 years. And then obviously I did, if you earn $1,500 a month, $2,000 a month, um, $2,500 a month and then with the associated values. This is what the chart looks like for the spreadsheet I just showed you. In this example, a $1,000 per month benefit is valued around $250,000. Like I said, this is just another way to look at your benefit. I'm not trying to say this is enough to live off of, but it does seem like a lot if you have to save up this much on your own to provide the same income. So to replace Social Security, if you want to replace $1,000 a month, you would need to save around $250,000 by the time you were going to retire or the time you were going to collect Social Security. So it's just another way of looking at that $1,000 a month. I went ahead and also did a 30-year chart. Obviously, the uh, Risk-free and 4% rule values, the blue and the red lines don't change, but the green line increases if the number of years you're gonna collect increases because obviously you would need more money to cover the, the 10 years. Just for fun, I decided to see how much a 9% COLA increase would add to the present value of Social Security. So this is just the 9%. It's close to 10%, so it's about 10% of the amount from the other calculations. You'll notice that for the $12,000 annual benefit that we're looking at around $25,000, where the total benefit from before was around $250,000. So it's about 10%. It's a little less than 10%, obviously. It's 9%. So... Just to give you an idea that if we do get that about a 9% COLA increase this year, this is what it would be worth in a present value formula. Hopefully I've provided another way of looking at your social security benefit that uh, may be of interest. Um, if not, then I'm sorry. Uh, if you like the video, please like it uh, or dislike it if you didn't like it. Uh, leave comments down below. If you have specific questions or videos you'd like to see, also put those in the comments. And um, until next time, if you're going to retire, retire to something.